Alrighty, so I wanted to get you started with game tape as quick as possible. So a little OBS Studio introduction right here and some instructions. OBS is the uh, software that I recommend for game tape. Quick and easy to set up. So you're simply going to go to obsproject.com and then click on your operating system, download it and fire that puppy up. Once it's fired up, it's going to look like this right here. This is the OBS 24.0.1. Maybe there's an update I'm missing out on, whatever. It doesn't really matter. So the goal with game tape is to record your play and your thought process as you speak aloud all of your decisions before you make them. So we can just imagine we have two tables on going right now, Ace-10 over here, Pocket Kings over here, and we want to record all of our decisions as we're making them. Whip out uh, OBS Studio. The first thing you need to do is set up your scene. Now, if this is your first time doing it, you haven't, you don't have any scenes here yet. The scenes are all of the inputs that go into the video that you are recording. So hit plus to add a brand new scene. Let's call this one game tape. Now currently, the game tape scene has nothing inputted into it. There's no sources, there's no video, uh, uh, video like hardware camera recording no screen grabbing nothing at all being recorded so what we need to do is add a source so you're going to hit add we're just going to do a very simple display capture this captures one of your two three four monitors however many you work from let's just call this one monitor hit ok now you can see right now this is actually looking at my other monitor on the other computer. I want to record this current monitor that we're looking at. So everything that's recorded within OBS, once I hit OK, it's going to record all the things on this current screen. Now, I could right now just hit start recording and then bam, I'm off to the races playing my games, recording my thoughts as I speak to them. But a couple more very simple things. Take a look at your microphone. Now you can see the green bars going up as I'm speaking when I'm quiet. It goes down, so obviously I've got things working. But what you want to do is make sure you have the correct microphone recording or working. Um, go to properties here, and then just choose the microphone that you want to use that's hooked up to your computer. Hit OK, and then just test it by doing some speaking. Make sure you see that green bar moving. The last thing you want to do is you want to set up where these recordings are saved in your computer. Go to settings. Under output, recording. And then simply the recording path, choose wherever you want it. I created a folder on my desktop and I called it OBS Recordings. So I have it going here. You can browse and find it, type it in, however you want to do it. But once you have the file, the destination file set up, hit OK. And then bam, you start recording. Now this video is currently recording um, within that OBS Recordings file. Um, I'm speaking through my decisions. I'm making my plays, blah, blah, blah. Come in for the nice three bet right here. Hey, look what we're doing. Speaking through all the decisions that you're using. At the end of your games tape session, just hit stop recording. And then now you can review that game tape your next day, directly after recording. That's totally up to you. But just find it in that file um, that you, you know, your destination file. Alrighty, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, well, what are you waiting for? Get started on game tape for yourself. I'll catch you later.